Miss Carlo, is it true that you'll be interviewing Elena Rodriguez this morning? Actually, yes, she's on her way right now and we're really excited. It'll be on the air tonight. We should sure elect them to be on your show. We heard she was. You heard wrong. Miss Rodriguez, you know, she's a very courageous young woman. She She's a true hero. She really wants to just get her story out there and um, to warn all the young girls and their families. You've been investigating child sex trafficking in California. Yeah. Not just California, nationwide. Yes, nationwide. Have you been getting the cooperation you'd like from the authorities, the police? Well, we all know how that can be when you're Angela, trying to we get... need to go. Folks, thank you guys so much. Now, if you'll excuse us. You know, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. And, um, you know, I really appreciate you guys being out here covering this because there's people like you that are going to help me get this story out there. So, thanks again, and we'll see you on the air tonight. Okay, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kahlo on the Case. Here's your host, Angela Kahlo. Good evening. I'm Angela Kahlo, and you are watching Kahlo on the Case. Folks, tonight I am very excited to have Elena Rodriguez on our show. Now let me tell you, Elena is a true hero to me. She is a woman whose vigilance led to the rescue of a 16-year-old Bay Area girl, Oleana Larson, from the hands of her abductors, a network of child sex traffickers. Elena, I thank you for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me on your program. You're welcome. Now, if you can share your story with us, please. Well, I was working as an assistant for a photographer in San Francisco, and in one of his photo shoots, the model he was using looked awfully young to me. But there were some adults accompanying her too, thought perhaps they were her parents. Were they? No, apparently not. But I didn't realize that at the time. You mentioned photos. Were these naked pictures of the young girl? No, not fully. Uh, they were rather revealing, shall we say. Please continue. Everybody went home that day. Three days later, I'm walking in Oakland and I noticed this missing person flyer and I recognized the girl in the picture. Oleana Larson. Yes, the young girl in the photo shoot from three days earlier. So I immediately called Oakland police. And this led to the rescue of Oleana. Now, I understand that she has been reunited with her family since, correct? Yes, that's my understanding. Thank you. Elena, you and I spoke earlier and we agreed that there's something rather puzzling about all this. Would you mind sharing that with our audience, please? please? Yes. Well, one thing I still don't understand, although Oakland police started the search process... Based on your tip? Yes, but they later said they had not been involved in the rescue of Oleana. My inquiries collaborated that also, as a matter of fact, they said that the police or even the FBI could not track her down at all. Yes, they openly admitted that to me too. So, who did it? My team and I are still looking into it, but we don't have all the answers. Although it's great that Oleana is back now reunited with her family, thanks to you, Elena, this raises a very disturbing question. Is the police, or even the FBI, rather helpless in this area? That is, child sex trafficking? We'll be right back after this public service announcement. Child sex trafficking is a heinous crime and needs to be stopped. It is worldwide and continues to grow. Every young, underage girl is vulnerable, and sometimes boys too. Sex traffickers are vicious, well-financed, and well-organized criminals. Our police departments across America are stretched to the limit. This is a war we can't afford to lose. Let's all be aware of the dangers out there and fight this together. This is not a war we can afford to lose. So let's fight it together, shall we? Please be careful out there. Be very careful out there. Trust only the people you know. Evil people will try to hurt you. Evil does not rest. Por favor, hay que tener cuidado. Sex trafficking is going on all around us. Be careful. Please be careful out there. Tener cuidado en quien confía.